So hello everyone and welcome back to some more pinstripe here on another advent calendar day where we have entered Redwash and uh, are going to just go and actually explore this place some more. Whatever is there is basically the question. Definitely can't do anything here, so I guess it is entering into this location. I like the red colors in here though. Nice lake and everything. I have no idea of who you are. Congrats, Bo. Welcome to the family. Yep, yeah, uh, the adoption plan that he had, clearly. Hello, Daniel. Welcome to Red Wash. Thanks. Pinstripes resort Lovely. Please sign the best registration. Um, I don't want to sign this, <laughs> Mr. Prince Drive. Welcome to see you to the adoption adoption ceremony of Little Bo. Please sign the quest registry. Quest will receive complimentary sack choice during the ceremony reception. I guess I have to. Okay. Can I just, like, go back with that? I'm just gonna start again. That doesn't look good. Can I just, like, do this again? <sighs> well, fine. Mm, what a beautiful signature. I wanted to do it again, but no. Yes, it's so beautiful. Please know that tonight is a special special. Yes. What is this ceremony exactly about other than adoption? It's not every day in stripe finds rare and lumber child. Lovely. So Miss Instrument is request that all residents witness the eternal touch of us. Ah, lovely. I'm not sure if that's a cat or what animal this is supposed to be. Is it another dog? It's kind of a mix. I'm not sure what you are. But uh, lovely robotic face you have. And also clearly run below here, right then. So that's also nice. There's a gun there locked behind. Well, a portrait of some guy that looks like Jesus. But it's not Jesus. Look, his name is just Nathan. Nathan Kingston. Well, if you say so. Locked. Locked. Who are you? I'm gonna destroy the light on top of you. Hey, there's a jewel. There's also a jewel, apparently. Or, well, a frozen drop, but still. Can I get that? I don't know. That seems like a camera, too. Hello, guy. Felix, hello again. Oh, were you the guy that I dropped accidentally from the tree? Well, not accidentally, you were drinking the thingy from the sap, sap thing, and I needed to feed it to another place. This pinstripe guy's got class. If you say so. Such modified class. If you say so, man. Just exactly my words. Right. Lovely. Bow. Don't like those balloons. A notice. Read. Redwash residents attending the adoption of Bow shall receive a free delivery of pinstripe sacks. Yeah, definitely the thing we want. All residents not attending shall be verbally abused and vigorously whipped into submission. Well, I, I assume that everyone would rather go and then participate. Thank you and good day. <sighs> That's terrible. I am the nice guy. Whatever is up here. I still don't know what to do with you guys, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Someday. Some beautiful day. Oh no. Pinstripe, what are you doing? Your 
just in time for the ceremony, Ted. Let Bo go. I'm not sure if that is even Bo, but let Bo go regardless. Oh, don't be such a pissy wissy. Quite frankly, Bo will be much happier with me. <sighs> no, that will not be the case. And it's not so, the case. Will you stay for the ceremony? Well, of course I'm here. The clock is ticking, Ted. You stupid little punk piss. Well, I'm gonna hold my tongue. Can I actually drop down here? I can't go even more, right? Well, I guess I'm gonna pick this up. I don't want to go there yet, that's the thing. Hello. Or do that one yet, because I want to explore all of this area. Well, hello, you too. Don't catch me. Uh-huh. I've been good, I swear. I was just thirsty. Uh-huh. Nothing like a good swig of pinstripes sack juice. Yeah, if you say so. Makes me feel real special. Uh-huh. He said more's to come to celebrate Bo's adoption. <sighs> When's the adoption? What's it to you, punk? Quite of a lot. Know how to stop a car. What? Is that what happened? Is that why you're saying that? Did we get end up here because we were in a car crash? I started to think about the last day of June. Anyways. That's uh, one way to go back on top. Ugh, God damn it, this is so much of this place, so I'm just going here first to explore. It's definitely a clock running. Ugh, God damn it, so much area. Though I'm not sure if I can know in any way how to deal with this. I assume that I don't. Well, I guess I'll pick up this couple. Well, happy news that, which is closed apparently still. Mm-hmm. Examine. Trying to sleep. Awake at 8 10 p.m. Okay, so we'll see what time that is according to when the adoption ceremony would also be. At least I know that this place is here, I guess. Okay, let's just try to go and uh, explore all of this area. I definitely... That area even looks like it's asleep, so to speak, so that's interesting. But we definitely don't know how to... Oh. Oh. Did I just need to drop on those? God damn it. I didn't know that. I did not know that I could just drop on them and then they would go and do that. Ah, god damn it. God damn it. What's this? A giant safe? So it seems. Don't even think about it, fool. Happy. Uh-huh. Ooh. Oh, this is again this sort of a thing where we can go and try to balance this. Um but it doesn't seem to do anything. Is it because it can't yet? Or am I pressing the wrong button somehow or something? But it seems like space is supposed to be the one to press, but it doesn't work. It's not going up, but there's nothing I can do there. Hmm. Not sure what I'm supposed to do about that. A giant safe? Don't even... Yeah, it just doesn't do anything yet. Well, there's apparently a save here. So that's good to know. Oh, that's the thing which makes this bounce. Okay, now I understand. Not that it matters at all, to be honest, here. But whatever. Let's just explore the rest of the area, like I said. Uh, to be honest, actually, it might matter. I didn't... I wasn't... Did I drop down from there? I don't think I did. I'm not sure anymore. Why did I press accidentally space to jump? Because it's too usual to go and press that to jump. Okay, whatever this is. Huh. Okay, I can turn the clock from there. 
Hello, Kevon. You, you hear that, father? Mm hmm. That's Pistris Mega Clock. Mm hmm. I was instructed to not let nobody touch the Mega Clock. I understand. But I would like to touch it. I'd like to probably turn it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem like it's doing anything yet. At least I know that there's a clock here. So that's good information to know. Let's go into everything else then. Bean Stripes Club. Who are you, clown face? Oh, Dicky. How how did you end up in here? Hey? Hey Ted, it's me. Yeah, I noticed. Mr. Dicky. Uh-huh. Gotta be careful down here. Mm-hmm. Pinstripe would kill me if he found me. If you say so. Especially if he catches us helping you find foes, so... Yeah. Oh, I'm disguised. Where's uh, Mrs. Bertie? I I'm a clown, Ted. I know this. See the nose? Uh, where's Miss Bertie? But yes, I see the nose too. She's hiding in Pinstripe's well. Well... She said she's got a surprise for you. Okay. The question is, what kind of a surprise? It's destroying everything. Hello? You gonna go party after the ceremony, father? I don't know. Here, drink some of Pinstripe's sack juice for, for prep. Nah, thanks, okay. I didn't want to drink it. Mm. No. It's good, yeah. But not as good as the real deal. <laughs> Pinstripes giving out fresh sacks filled with this stuff during the ceremony. I don't want to drink it. You're going to take a bite from the forbidden fruit with us. <laughs> right, father? Um... <laughs> I would want to say no thanks, but apparently the good thing is to say, sure, I love parties. So sure, I um, guess. Are you serious? Oh, uh, what is it, George? Are you really going to party with everyone on a night like this? Of course not. I was just trying to be nice. <laughs> Pretty much. But no. I need to get that fork, but I guess we need to go around here. Uh, that's definitely like a pinstripe over us in that picture. So, yeah. That's just that. Uh, lovely. Hello, you. Get up the table, punk. No. I'm in the middle of a game. Well, I guess I'm so sorry, even though you clearly are not playing if we look into this. Hmm. If we can lower that, then we could go there. Maybe we can find a way to lower it. I'm just not quite sure where. Oh, no, those do not work like in that one other place. This is also a very weird picture. Huh. Not sure what would be the way to get up there then. That definitely does not interact with those. We can't jump on top of these things, so... Hmm... I don't see... Oh, what's this? Um... Did I get something for you, or is it both clothes? Might be both clothes, to be honest. It looked a little bit similar, but maybe I'll figure out a way to do that. <sighs> Anyways, that's otherwise done. Also, break those. Ah, another save, eh? A What's this safe. then? Don't eat. Okay, this one seems... Like, it feels weird because before I would just press the space and it worked. But this one, at least at the moment, I just cannot try even. Which seems very strange to me, but fine enough. Okay, let's go and... Well, to be honest, I didn't loot through everything in the... Ah, dude! Freak out every time you pop the balloons. <laughs> I'm sorry, George. Would you mind 
not doing that. Well, I'm sorry, George. You, I didn't know. Fine. I won't be doing that then. That's... Ow. That's a mushroom that I can actually go and pick up. Okay, there was nothing into the right side there, fine enough. So yeah, then I need to just go into the pinstripe's house at least a little bit and see what we exactly need to do. Possibly should have gone into here earlier. Some kind of mechanism. Yep, I know already. This is gonna be more difficult for sure. There's already six of these things. Oh. This is going to be difficult. I got it. Ooh, that was difficult though. Okay. Well, it's got a lot of mushrooms and there's a lot of sacks. This whole place is full of freaking those things. I guess I can get on top from there. This song is creepy. Yep, a little bit, I guess. Maybe. I, I'm not sure. Depends what it sounds... what they're singing about, I guess. Can't exactly... Enter dead year. Okay, so yeah, we have definitely died. The question is when? I don't know. For sure. I'm just guessing something. It's not like it matters. Okay, so. I don't think I have any clues that would actually tell me that. Like, this is just a destination thing. Departing at 7 p.m. And just passenger thingy, so yeah. Don't think I have anything that. Well, hmm, I guess I can have a look. If there would be something before, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, just that. Failure. That's also something we definitely didn't notice, actually. So we failed. Which isn't, of course, surprising if we failed. If we actually had a, not a car crash. Ugh. Why did I happen to choose so many games with car crashes, apparently? But yeah, that's basically what we need to do, specifically. But how to figure that out, or how to go about doing that, is uh, then a completely different question, because after all, at the moment I have no idea how to try to achieve that. Hmm. I would assume this clock would be exactly very, very important. Can I talk to him again, please? Let me use your clock. In some way or another. Because it's just... It's the weirdest thing because it doesn't seem to do anything when I press space and I don't see what else I could do. Don't even know what I'm supposedly doing. There's like the... Oh, there's... Yeah, I need the fork to be having that because there's the picture of the spoon and the fork now on the background. I'm not sure, was those there before? Maybe they were but I just didn't notice it. So I need that fork to be able to get two of those that so that I can actually show time. Without two of those things I cannot do that. So the question is how do I exactly go about getting that fork? That's indeed the main question. Any help from you, Dicky? What? Why are you so angry all of a sudden? You're not laughing at the moles on me crown, are you? What are you talking about? Stop it! Stop it! I didn't do anything. I'm not a clown! Leave me alone! So mad all of a sudden. Okay, well... Get off the table. I'm in the middle of the game. 
Hmm. It's funny that George is like below there. I'm like hoping maybe I could get all of those into top there. Maybe. Maybe there's just some, some re chance into that. There is. There's actually a chance into that. Not necessarily an easy chance, but there is a chance of getting some into there so that I can lower that. Okay. It's actually going relatively well. Surprisingly well. Yeah, you guys go into there so I can start to be getting more of you there. <laughs> okay, uh, we made it. I probably don't even really need to, but... In all honesty, I kind of would like to just have all of you there. Hey, I actually got something special for that. A tape, a secret film strip again. So I'm happy with that. Now I can actually get here and get this damnable thing. Fork. Yep, examine. It's kind of rusty and smells like pennies. Okay. Sprayed with... Lotion? That's weird. Take it. Though, I do require it. Okay, let's see about the clock now, I'd say. Why? Why do I always accidentally press the space when I'm trying to jump? Or very often. Space is not for jumping in this game. Okay. Okay. Now then, with an A we can go and place this into a correct place. Well, I guess I need also a spoon. That's actually the problem. I need a spoon for here and then I have fork in there. But that's it, basically. Okay, then it's just a question how would I be going about... God damn it, it feels like it went a little bit over the spot that it was supposed to be at. Well, at least I have one of the items that I require. Where would I find a spoon from? That I have actually no idea about. Yep. I think I left it there. Yep, I do. So, spoon. Where could I find a spoon? <sighs> Excellent question. And I assume I can't do anything with this wall still. A giant safe? Don't even at least I don't see how I can do anything, like I'm pressing all the other buttons, but the only thing that I can see doing anything is the space, and that's not something that helps me there at all. For sure. And I assume he is still asleep. Yep. Very much asleep. There was no way to go forward in here, right? Nope. So, spoon. Where could I spot a spoon from? Hmm... A spoon. I don't think there's any sense of me trying that again. And I clearly don't see any way to answer that question. Unless I could find Birdie from the well. Maybe she could help me, but... I don't know exactly. If I will. Was there anything else in here? Well, there's you, I guess. You, I cannot even talk to anymore. Well, let's at least save. Huh. What could I do? I haven't seen the spoon anywhere. Which is pretty much the main issue here for me. I... Hey, there's actually a crowd here. I can actually just walk in this crowd and go somewhere. I did not realize that. Ah, lovely. Here's the freaking well. And Birdie is supposed to be here on the well somewhere. So that's excellent. We actually got forward. Alright, found what I need to do. Uh, Birdie, where are you? Other than me just breaking everything. Hey, birdie. <laughs> Hello. Teddy bear. Mhm. Mm it's me again. I know this. Quick, take this genuine spoon. Ah, gee, thanks. Actually, it's very helpful. 
It's got a shine and smell I quite enjoy. Thank you, Birdie. Thank you, Mrs. Birdie. And pleasurable to the touch, no doubt. It really is. You'll need it to defeat Pinstripe and rescue poor little Bo. Yeah, I'm not too surprised about that. I was actually on the loop for it. I'm here. Yeah, I'm not Dicky Dance, of course, no, but after all, that's okay. But I don't want Pinstripe to lock me in that cage again. I definitely understand you on that. Okay, so we also want to do this. Okay, 13 differences this time around. Well, there's definitely the all difference here. If I can just press into the right spot. Difference with the amount of pillows, then the mirror image. Clearly it's different, there's a pinstripe again. Flames. That sort of a thing, mountain thingy, whatever that is. Lantern. Two blues instead of one. Again, the birdie and the dock. Dock, I said. Uh, there's no additional one here in the other one. Okay, that's quite a lot of those. I was thinking that there has to be a difference with the pins uh, stripes here in the background, which is in the end not too surprising. There had to be one difference in that somewhere. But where's the last two? At least most of them I got really fast. Okay, that's one more. Not those uh, scratches in the other one. Then, 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 what's the last? Last of the last. I'm trying to look into the places where I have a little bit more space. Because I, it just doesn't feel that I have that much space in all of these areas here anymore. Where there might be something missing. But I don't know. Maybe there's another one here. Not sure. Nope. Definitely not another one there. Okay. Where's the last one? Found most of them very quickly in all honesty, but the last one is evading me so far. For sure. I don't think there's more differences with the strides and the background at the very least. I hope. I don't see anything different in the mirror. Or the, 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 the window. Oh, bed has also scratches. Lots of stuff in just uh, that area of differences. Okay, what's in this? Uh, some more mushrooms and stuff, which I guess is fine. Uh, send me back up. Thank you kindly. Oh yeah, and another one of these freaking things that I also have a lot left behind. I so didn't know this location, but good, good. We got there now. We aren't completely in the 30 minutes at the moment yet, but I do think that this could be a good place to be just saving and ending for today. It's just considering of the fact that uh, next then we're gonna be setting the clock and whatever else happens in Red Wash and whatever we have to do after that. Because, yeah, that's definitely gonna be getting some events forward when we go and uh, get the clock set up. So yeah, I think I'll just do a save here and we're gonna be ending for today for Beanstripe. But I hope you all enjoyed some more of the Beanstripe. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed another advent calendar day. And tomorrow we will continue with some more Beanstripe. So see you then. By the way, have our clothes changed? I don't remember us having this sort of a red shirt before. Oh, we put that red shirt on from the floor, didn't we? I assume so. Must be. Because I'm pretty sure we didn't have it before. Hmm, maybe. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> indeed. See you for more tomorrow. Bye bye till then. Thank you for watching. See you then.